the first 45 days, we spent a lot of time really learning kind of the fundamentals, a lot of the basic skills, a lot of drilling. Um, just recently started getting to actually rolling a little bit. So we're at the, uh, the halfway mark, and uh, we came down here to spend time with Jeff to really see if we could learn some, some added skills. The way I heard about the 90 day challenge, it was all over the internet. I couldn't get on Facebook or YouTube without uh, seeing or hearing or reading something about it. And uh, I just immediately jumped right into it. I thought it was an awesome idea. I think it's good for the sport. Um, I think it's good for people to see other people taking lofty challenges. I love the, the whole concept. What I love about Jeff's style, and I did my homework on him on the, the internet, and you know, he was on the cover of uh, this month's actually Jiu Jitsu magazine. So I mean, he's a very well known name, but he's dynamic, right? His style is really unlike a lot of the more traditional Jiu Jitsu. He's all over the place. He's bouncing around. He's fast. You know, he's effective. His legs do things that you know fingers and arms do. It's just it's just crazy to watch. So here I am in uh, Chula Vista at Alliance Training Center, Brandon Bear's gym, uh, his, his house of pain as he calls it. And uh, I was down in San Diego with my family and I always bring my gi with me. And I called him up and I said, hey Brandon, you got some spare time? And uh, Mike Fowler happened to be in town from Hawaii just competing in the Abu Dhabi uh, championships. And so he said, yeah, let's get together. So I have uh, Brandon Bear, Mike Fowler, Tyler Howard, and Kyle, we're all together getting some personal one-on-one -on -one instruction as we're, uh, I think the halfway point of our 90 day challenge. Relax Tony, relax your face too, relax your face too. Relax your face, you shouldn't be able to tell what you're trying to do on your face. Taking the 90 day challenge and actually jumping into a jiu-jitsu tournament is a scary feat for anybody, you know? Be willing to put themselves through a two hour grueling workout where somebody's choking you and bending your joints the opposite direction that God intended to actually decide that for 90 days they're going to do this every day, sometimes twice a day, not just changing their diet, but they're actually changing their health and their lifestyle. My first 90 day challenge uh, lost 45 pounds. I actually initially started training um, Jiu Jitsu, a buddy of mine kind of introduced me to it. Um, last year over the summer, saw Blake taking on the Jiu Jitsu challenge. Um, I just said, just perfect timing. You get a chance to see Jeff Cole. He's uh, never in one place for more than a millisecond. Before you even know where he is, he's already in a different position. So he's very fluid. He's always uh, he's always a couple steps ahead. It's a really cool thing to see actually here in person, live, and even get a chance to roll with him a little bit. I think we're definitely leaving here today with you know two, three, four different techniques that obviously we're gonna have to practice. Uh, to make them really a part of our overall game. Now that submissions are getting thrown into the mix, it'll be really exciting to see how this stuff plays out. And this is really when jujitsu starts getting fun. Definitely a challenge, but there's a sense of that that I can relate to because my first competition was after five months. So I can look at them and put myself in their position because I've been there before and not too long ago either. So it's fun to kind of have that in, that engagement and, and kind of be a part of their, their progress as well. The guys are doing really good as far as when they're training, when they're, when they're paying attention, you know what I mean? They're really focused in, they're not messing around, they're using their time wisely, uh, you know, letting, putting the time into drilling. And like I said, now I'm just watching them and, and getting the train with them, feeling where they're at. They're at a good point. Looking over the last 45 days, I definitely underestimated the entire jiu-jitsu challenge goal. But I think that's why they call it a challenge. And I think it, it can definitely relate to most people's goals, right? When you go out there and you embark on something new and you set a ridiculous goal and you're doing something that's never been done before, sometimes it stretches you physically and a lot of times it stretches you mentally. I think every time I step on the mat, uh, it gets more and more exciting. It's been a ride. Um, nerve-wracking at times. Every day, uh, every new submission, uh, getting a little bit better. 
a little bit more confident uh, with a few of the tools that we learned today that we can add to the arsenal and I'm definitely going to be using uh, uh, looking for those opportunities to use these slick tricks that we use today. If you don't tap, you're going to go unconscious. If you don't tap, stuff could break. It happens. A lot of crazy stuff can happen and for somebody to actually put themselves through that, it's just let's say a normal human being, that's pretty cool, man. And to get your friends to do it with you, it's even more cool. You can't let uh, player haters bring you down. Uh, people tell you, you can't do this, you can't do that. I have lots of documented evidence of people doing in jiu-jitsu things that weren't supposed to be done. You know that if you go, you know, 10 steps forward, you're gonna be okay. But if you go up one more step and go out that door, that's the unknown. And people usually just kept inside by that fear, not knowing what's gonna be out there. It's being safer just to stay inside. But really, like I said, you're not gonna ever, ever prove in advance, no matter what you're doing in life. It's crazy, we're gonna learn everything we can. We're gonna go in that tournament, man, prepared. Mentally prepared, physically prepared, and uh, I'm gonna learn some things. I'm gonna learn some things that are gonna scare people. Fingers crossed, we can get it done.